Hello guys! So, today I thought I'd talk about uh, something that I've been delaying for a long long time. I actually tried to film this probably like five months ago, but I ended up just rambling and rambling and I didn't really get to the point. So this time I'm gonna try to be like... I can't promise anything because I love to talk and this is actually like a subject that I feel a little bit strongly about so I'm gonna try to make it short and remember these are only my uh, my personal opinions everyone has different experiences and <sighs> we're all different so even though I won't recommend art school in this video I think that a lot of people can have a very nice art school experience and learn a lot in art school but yeah let's get to the point so number one is that i feel like art school is a little bit overrated i feel like you can learn anything you'd learn at art school on your own but the thing is you need to have the motivation and the self-discipline to actually learn the stuff that you want to learn and not depend on anyone to say that this needs to be done, deadline this this day, blah, blah, blah. So that you have to push yourself into actually doing the work to learn something new. Um, I feel like art school is really great if you have no idea what you want to do, if you want to try out new things, if you want to try out new mediums, but you can't really be bothered to do it by yourself, then art school is good for you. But I personally knew that I wanted to do illustration. I love drawing, I love painting, and I didn't really have in, a, like a big interest in like topography and graphic design. I still love it, and I feel like the people who do it, I'm so impressed. But it's not necessarily something that I'm very, very passionate about. So I feel like some of the time felt a little bit wasted since I was always waiting for the illustration part to come along. So that's point one. It's, it's overrated and if you want to learn, learn by yourself. I mean, that's the only thing you need to do. Push yourself. Yeah! Number two. I feel like art school is a very weird concept because I feel like art is subjective. Not everyone likes the same style. Like, for instance, like Lisa Frank, who has that very specific, like, candy floss unicorn rainbow dream on steroids <laughs> but it's like it's so intense and a lot of people absolutely hate it but a lot of people also love it so it's it's difficult to like say that oh that's bad art that's not a plus art so it's really weird to have that sort of sense about an artistic um course because you can't really judge it in a fair way. Like I had one of my teachers, see, she said that my watercolors were uncharming. I mean, I took it really hard when she told me. It was like, <sighs> it was one of the pieces I was really proud of back then. And I didn't have a lot of experience with watercolor. As some of you might know, um, I didn't start watercolor until, what, four years ago, I think? So. For me, this was like in the beginning phase, and I took it very hard. And and charming is also like it's it's a description that it's very apparent that it's just her taste. That it's not like it's bad. It's uncharming for her. I still feel like you can get a lot of constructive criticism on your work in art school, and that's something that I miss sometimes when I post um, post my paintings on Instagram and other places because sometimes I mean you grow a lot from constructive criticism and that's the way you learn so I always ask my boyfriend my friends like do you see anything off is there anything off in this piece because usually they are very very honest and I'm so happy for that so that's something that's good about our school but then again I feel like grading art in our school is a little bit off. so point three uh, I'm a person that struggles with anxiety <sighs> and I've always struggled with anxiety and it actually got a lot worse when I went to art school. I've always like been nervous before like a presentation or before talking to anyone about like my passions but 
in our school it got really really bad presentations aren't something that everyone is comfortable with and a lot of artists and creative people are known to be introverts and a little bit sensitive I know that's a stereotype and all that, I'm not saying like every artist is sensitive that's the same like saying every artist is on drugs <laughs> or depressed but I know that a lot of artists are sensitive and having presentations and putting a lot of pressure on that part of a course I feel like that's not the right way to go because most of my commissions and most of my freelance work has been through applications like showing my portfolio uh, people seeing my work on Instagram and contacting me it's not standing in front of a crowd of people and presenting your work okay so like an exhibition I mean you can have an exhibition and you don't even have to be there that's the thing with artists and I feel like the presentation part of the course really took a toll on me so if you don't like presentations and you don't I mean okay <laughs> I say I mean uh, before I went to art school I had only shown my work to probably a handful of people it was not not something that I'd posted everywhere I had not had an exhibition beforehand I was completely new to showing my work and showing your work is an important part of being an artist because it won't get work unless you show your work <laughs> but being so new at showing what I do that rhymed they should take it slowly at least because for me it was uh, uh, I hated it I hated it it, it oh, I could stay awake all night beforehand before like a presentation I was just, yeah, mm, did not like it. No, 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 no. Point four. This might be, oh, it's a little bit stupid, isn't it? In my art school, they, for some reason, put quite a lot of pressure on us to have MacBooks. And, I mean, I went to a public art school, not a private one, so it wasn't too expensive. It costs, like, it costs money, but it's not too expensive. But still, they had the pressure on us that you should have a MacBook. And uh, we actually got, um, one day, one of our teachers sent us uh, the, the next upcoming project that we had to do. And a bunch of us in our class, not too many, but a bunch of us, said like, oh, but this is a type of file that we can't open because we have PCs. And she said, oh, well, that's too bad. You should buy a MacBook then. And she, she was probably joking pretty bad joke. I, I don't really get it. I, I have a simple, small, mini, mini PC and it does the job. I use Photoshop on it, I use DaVinci Resolve, which I use to, to edit the videos. It works fine! So why the frig do you need to waste a bunch of money to buy something that you originally, or, 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 originally didn't want and it's not that I'm totally against Apple products I'm just not I'm, I'm not there yet and uh, I, I bet like in private art schools too they have that pressure maybe even more because it's like elite art school you should have the fanciest um, supplies and all that but yeah so I felt like that was a little bit ugh about art school and I can't say that this is gonna happen everywhere you go to art school but it happened at mine point five you can do it yourself really you don't need it I mean if you're not gonna be there for the three years and you think that you're gonna get a lot out of it the money could easily go to art supplies instead because we all know that art supplies are quite pricey <laughs> I don't regret my time at art school and I got a lot of friends inside the field and that's also something that our school is really good at is to get the network inside the the work that you want to do and even though i dropped out and i wasn't the only one we started out i think it was 20 or 19 people and when i dropped out i think we were down to 14. some had the same reasons as i did some had different reasons it doesn't work for everyone and uh, and that's okay like I said in the beginning, we're different people. Some people like to be told and experiment and find their, like, all these kinds of different kinds of 
what am I saying? We all have different interests and we all have different ways of learning and we all have different passions and different motivations and some people need need someone to tell them what to do, some people do it themselves and there's nothing wrong with that and this is just my view of art school and I don't regret any time I spent there uh, but I don't think I'm gonna be going back there because I still have the opportunity to go back but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think that the two, almost two years I went to art school, I think I did maybe three drawings for myself, not like drawings that didn't have anything to do with school. And the moment I dropped out, I think I did like 50 in 16, this is in 16 months, six months. And it felt like there was something inside me that had, had been like caged for a while. And when I managed to like get away from it, get away from the anxiety and the stress and feeling like I didn't belong in a way because a lot of my classmates were very ambitious. They had like dreams and goals and I weren't there yet. I was just, I just wanted to draw. <laughs> I'm such a simple person. I just wanted to draw. So these are my five reasons that you should not go to art school. There are probably five or ten reasons you should. But these are my reasons to not go to art school. And still, I feel like I brought in some positive traits about art school too into this video. I try not to be too negative because, like I said, it can work for you. And I hope that you liked it and that you got. it's nice to get someone else's view on it. If you're applying to art school, don't let this stop you. Because really, um, it can work wonders for you. So, that was it. If you like this type of video, please let me know. And let me know if you have any other themes that you'd like me to discuss or bring my uh, personal opinion about. Because it's fun and I might be completely unreasonable. But yeah, I'll see you soon and bye bye.